Have you seen them, my sister? Yeah, we oh. did a project together with Courtney with Fred's sister. Okay. Yeah, That's what's yeah. Up. So it's finally a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. I awesome. mean, you know, ladies love you. So I got a lot of requests to, to slip some numbers <laughs> to you. And I was like, we're you. not doing that today. <laughs> <laughs> not today. But I know your birthday's coming up. It is. So it I want to know as you approach really get into your 30s, mm -hmm. what is something that you want to do more of and less of? Hmm. In my 30s, uh, I think I want to do more um, downloading into myself. Mm -hmm. I think uh, taking more time for me and uh, um, spiritually, mentally, kind of like uh, investing in myself a little mm -hmm. bit more. When you're on this run, you know, project to project, you know, press tours, uh, constantly hustling, grinding to try Absolutely. to get to where you want to get to, you sometimes forget to stop and kind of like uh, reset and, and, and download into yourself because that's, that's the most important thing. Um, less of uh, worrying about what other people think. Mm. Yeah, you got to end that. After Black yeah. Panther, I mean, after this, if people have anything to say about you, it'll be shut, it'll down, be shut down. Yeah, <laughs> with this film. And I want to talk about, of course, mm -hmm. everyone talks about your friendship with Ryan and how you all have worked together. Yep. But I never really heard the story. How, how did you guys meet? We met um, right after I did Chronicle, um, maybe about... Ten months before we shot, we shot Fruitville Station. You know, he uh, had slipped the script to uh, somebody at my agency. They got it to my agent. I read it. You know, the next week, I decided, I, you know, I, I want to sit down and, and meet with him. We met at a Starbucks. Twenty minutes into the conversation, excuse me, and uh, I decided to do it. I just knew it was something about him when I met him, and uh, we. Uh, he was like, "Look, Mike, I think you're a star. I want to show the rest of the world that. Let's 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 go do this thing." And from then on. It's been like a brother. It's dope. What I love about Ryan is he really has this ability to humanize not only the superhero here mm -hmm. in Black Panther, but also the villain. Like, you really feel for your character. What is kind of the key takeaway you want people to take away from your character, but specifically, like, people of the African diaspora? Man, I feel like, uh, you know, the best villains are the ones you can empathize or at least understand where they're coming from. You know, their backstory and their history, like, dramatically impacts their agenda. And for Killmonger, he just cares about his people, the survival of his people um, by any means necessary. So I feel like with, with, with Killmonger, you have to, I think the message or, you know, what I want people to take it away is, uh, you know, uh, sometimes when you leave somebody no option, you know, there's, there's, a, there's, you never know what somebody's capable of. Mm. And you have to, you know, treat everybody with the same respect and care and also you know you, you know your upbringing you know um um your your environment you know the, it, it all plays a part in how you uh and how you and how you progress throughout throughout life and and if you're you know it, it hmm. It's a very multi-layered thing because he's very complex. So I'm Absolutely. trying to see what's the best thing to kind of take away from Killmonger that could be misunderstood. Uh, he's... Well, he's victim of his circumstance. He very much so is victim of his circumstance, but I want people to take away. It's just you got to... Mm, mm, mm. Respect people's past to know where they're coming from. And, yeah. you know, they, and it gives you a... It can give you a clear idea of where they're going. 